Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's me, Andrew. Today, I'm doing my full review on the all-new HP M7-J120DX touchscreen laptop. All right, let's get started. HP is aiming this laptop at someone that wants a full-size laptop with them on the go without sacrificing performance. With a 17.3-inch touchscreen display and a quad-core Intel i7 processor, you've got yourself a multimedia powerhouse. All right, let's go ahead and break down the specs. This laptop features a 17.3-inch Full HD touchscreen panel with a resolution of 1920 by 1080 4th generation Intel Core i7-4700MQ processor. For the graphics, we have the Intel HD 4600, 8GB of RAM, 1TB hard drive running at 5400 RPM. Intel wireless display ready. For the wireless card, we have the Intel AC3160. This laptop weighs 7.1 pounds and measures 1.3 inches thick. For the operating system, we have Microsoft Windows 8.1, and the retail price of this laptop is $999. Next up, let's talk about design and build quality. From a standpoint, this design looks like aluminum, but once you feel the texture, you can tell it's not aluminum. HP is calling this glass fiber material. The glass fiber material feels pretty solid, and the overall build quality is good, with the exception of the top of the laptop. The screen flex feels fragile when putting pressure on the laptop. And the weight comes in at 7.1 pounds, which is slightly heavier than most 17.3 inch laptops. Next up, let's take a look at the ports here on the left side of the laptop. Here you got your Kensington security slot, exhaust port for your fans, HDMI output, Ethernet port, two USB 3.0 ports, and an SD card reader. All right, let's take a look at the right side of the laptop. Here you got your AC charging port, DVD drive, an additional two USB 3.0 ports, and a headset microphone jack combo. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the boot up speed on the new HP Envy touchscreen laptop. And we're done. This laptop booted up in about 15 seconds. Next up, let's test all the viewing angles on this 17.3 inch non-IPS display. All right, let me go ahead and rotate to the left. Still clear and visible. Starting to fade a little bit right here. Overall, the side-to-side -side viewing angles were good. Next up, let's test out the viewing angle by tilting the display all the way back. All right, here we go. The viewing angles for this section was about average. Next up, let's talk about this gorgeous 17.3 inch HD LED backlit display with a resolution of 1920 by 1080. Brightness levels were very good and the colors on this panel were magnificent. Next up, let's test out the touchscreen performance on this panel. Let's scroll up and down. Multi-touch gestures have been very precise and smooth. Check this out. Let me go ahead and scroll to the left. I'm going to zoom in on some text to show you how crisp and clear it is. Check that out. Next up, let's talk about keyboard performance. This laptop features a standard full-size keyboard along with a 10-key numeric keypad. This keyboard has been a pleasure to type on. The feedback and key travel response has been excellent. Let me show you a sample of the key travel on this keyboard. Take a look at that. Those of you that are scared to make the jump from a standard desktop keyboard will have no problems getting adjusted to this fantastic keyboard. Next up, let's take a look at the backlit keyboard performance on this laptop. There's only one option, either on or off. This backlit keyboard is well lit and offers excellent visibility at night. Next up, let's talk about trackpad performance. The trackpad has been good thanks to HP choosing Synaptics as its trackpad manufacturer. I just wish there was slightly more feedback when clicking the button down. However, two finger scrolling has been great and multi touch gestures have been good. Overall, I'm satisfied with the trackpad. The fingerprint scanner on this laptop has been great. HP took it to another level with Simple Pass. HP Simple Pass can log you in automatically on websites you visit often. Whether I was signing into my desktop or logging into my eBay webpage, HP Simple Pass was really impressive. Next up, let's talk about speaker performance. This laptop features Beats Audio quad speakers and two subwoofers. The sound quality from this laptop has been very good once you fine tune your settings on the Beats Audio EQ. Next up, let's talk about the processor. This laptop features an Intel Core i7-4700MQ running at 2.4GHz with a turbo boost up to 3.2GHz for 4 active cores, 3.3GHz for 2 active cores, and 3.4GHz for 1 active core. From day-to-day -day usage like word processing, watching 1080p video clips, and exporting HD video clips, this processor was begging to be pushed. And to back that up, let's go ahead and take a look at some Geekbench 3 performance scores. This is a 64-bit version here. For the single-core score, I got 3,343. For the multi-core score, I got 12,447. Next up, let's take a look at Cinebench R15. For the CPU, I got a score of 645 CB. Next up, let's test out this quad-core processor by exporting a 680MB 1080p video clip using Handbrake. The preset I'm going to use is a normal default setting. 
Let's see how long this quad-core processor takes. And the results are in. This laptop exported this 1080p video clip in 2 minutes and 44 seconds. During my test, the speeds on the exports have been highly impressive. Next up, let's test out the Intel HD 4600 using 3 d Mark. For the Firestrike 1.1, I got a score of 745. For CloudGate 1.1, I got a score of 6805. And for iStorm 1.2, I got a score of 61,459. With these scores, you can expect to play many light duty games like Diablo 3 and Crisis on medium settings. You can even play some of the latest titles like Battlefield 4 and Titanfall on low settings. Next up, we're going to test out the 1TB hard drive using Crystal Dismark. For the sequential read speed, I got 111.5 megabytes a second. For the sequential write speeds, I got 104.5 megabytes a second. These speeds are about average for a traditional 5400 RPM hard drive. However, for better performance, I recommend you to upgrade to an SSD. Next up, let's test out the temperature performance from this laptop. With regular usage like browsing the web and watching 1080p YouTube clips, I was averaging anywhere from 40 to 44 degrees Celsius. Next up, let's go ahead and perform a heat stress test by running Cinebench CPU test 10 times back to back. And the results are in. On average, the CPU temperature was around 88 to 95 degrees Celsius. It is a little warm, however, I will deal with the heat as long as this CPU keeps on pushing out all my tasks. Next up, let's talk about battery performance. On average, I was able to get around 5 to 6 hours out of a full charge with screen brightness at around 70%. And with a removable 6 cell battery pack, you can purchase an additional one for more power on the go. Next up, let's talk about fan noise. Fan noise has been adequate. Under normal usage, you can barely hear the fan. However, during heavy CPU loads, the fan can be loud depending on your usage. For a quad-core i7 laptop, the fan noise is acceptable. Next up, let's take a look at the inside of the laptop and see what we have. On the bottom left, you got your 1TB 5400 RPM hard drive that is upgradable. You also have a secondary slot for an additional hard drive or an SSD. Two DIMM slots for your RAM. This CPU supports up to 16GB of RAM and the Intel Wireless AC3160 with Bluetooth 4.0. If you're looking for the ultimate 17-inch touchscreen laptop that has excellent performance, a gorgeous 1080p display, and for under $1,000, then look no further. Alright, this concludes my review on the all-new HP M7-J120DX 17.3-inch touchscreen laptop. If you enjoyed this video, please click that like button, and please subscribe for more upcoming videos. Alright, thanks for watching. Peace.